cooperatives, member-owned and democratically run enterprises are internationally recognised for creating and sustaining decent jobs and for distributing wealth more equally. We know that cooperatives have an enormous impact around the world, but historically this has been difficult to quantify in an internationally harmonised and comparable manner, making it harder to effectively justify supporting them. In order to develop appropriate policies and programmes for cooperatives, the ILO has been facilitating the development of statistics and cooperatives that will provide an adequate information base on the number and type of cooperatives, members of cooperatives, and the work and economic contribution generated by cooperatives in a reliable and comparable manner across the globe. The ILO first adopted the Promotion of Cooperatives Recommendation Number 193 in 2002, an international standard that, among other things, encourages governments to harmonise the way in which they gather national statistics on cooperatives. In 2013, the 19th session of the International Conference of Labour Statisticians, ICLS, adopted a statistical resolution concerning further work on statistics on cooperatives. With this mandate, the ILO and members of the Technical Working Group of the Committee for the Promotion and Advancement of Cooperatives, COPAC, then prepared draft guidelines on statistics of cooperatives, which were eventually adopted in 2018 at the 20th ICLS and approved by the governing body of the ILO in 2019. The guidelines cover concepts and definitions, types of cooperatives, statistical units and other relevant topics, including work in cooperatives. Four main types of cooperatives have been identified based on the main interest of the members. The four criteria for the operational definition of a cooperative indicate it is a formally established institutional unit, controlled democratically by its members, has voluntary and non-restrictive membership, and its profit or surplus are distributed among the members, not directly linked to the capital contributed by each member. Work within the scope of cooperatives can be undertaken by members and by non-members and may include all forms of work defined in the most recent version of the International Standard Classification of Employment. Data collection, tabulation and analysis should be available according to the four main types of cooperatives, nationally specific subtypes, by branch of economic activity and by regions relevant to national purposes. We now need to make sure that these guidelines are implemented through country-level pilot testing with further work on the development of measures to assess the contribution of cooperatives to the economy. The goal is to produce a manual of statistics on cooperatives for review and discussion at the 21st International Conference of Labour Statisticians in 2023. We hope you will join us in this journey. To get involved, contact us at coop at ilo.org.